Well, as you know, we are one big family here at Global BC. And tonight, we're going to share a very personal story about one of our own. Deb Hope was one of the most well-known and loved anchors in BC for years. And many of you have wondered what happened to her after she left television. Tonight, with the help of her family, including her husband, Roger, who was a Global BC cameraman, we will share Deb's journey with Alzheimer's disease that struck her far too early. Her story is one many of you will understand from your own experience. Uh, well, Alzheimer's is, is, is horrific, as, as anyone who knows anything about it knows. And um, when we got it, uh, I think you know, it was hard to take, but um, she it was remarkable, really, how she, she handled it. I mean, she's, you know, she's still with us. It's not good. Um, she's in a facility now. Um, I'm proud of her, how she, how she handled it. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. To those of us lucky enough to know and work with Deb, she was everything. Friend, mentor, brilliant reporter, amazing anchor, and an endless supply of energy. It is now 20 to 12. I have 20 minutes to do a story, get familiar with the rest of the program, and uh, get out of the sack. Deb was one of the hardest working people in the newsroom. She was very proud of what she did, and I was proud of what she did as well. She was supremely good. And she was such a, a great reporter, and maybe even greater interviewer, I think. She was in some ways the conscience of the news app. And what you got is what you saw. She wasn't an anchor princess. She was a genuine person with lots of love for real people. And when people would come up to her in, you know, out, out, in, out in the field or in public, as it were, you know, she, she was very respectful to everybody. And people responded to that in kind. The audience responded because in many ways, you knew things that we knew about Deb as colleagues, like her sense of humor which was coupled with the most infectious laugh we had ever heard. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, oh my God, that laugh. Oh, she used to crack up on air. Oh goodness, I'm sorry, I found that story really funny. We better take a break, we'll be back with the weather forecast. She had a, a smile and a personality and a laugh that lit up a room. Again, one of the nicest people you'll, you'll ever meet. Super supportive with everybody, always in good mood. Deb's just a beautiful person, She she's always, uh, she was always friendly, she was always kind. She was the greatest audience for anyone who wanted to tell a joke. So it made sense that her and Roger's first date, which was really just them sitting beside each other at a function, included lots of laughs. You know, that was incredibly beautiful and, you know, way smarter than me, that's for sure. But it was the humor that, that got me and got us. And we ended up laughing the, the entire night away together, like we were in a bubble, you know, and I think from that moment on, uh, we were together. Variety Club show of hearts. Yes. Her work ethic yeah, extended yeah. to the many charities that she supported, including the SPCA, which was given a spot by Deb on the new news. As I say, I can't count the numbers of animals we've adopted because of her. Thousands upon thousands. <laughs> Eileen's uh, a little nervous. She made she's made a difference in this world, of, in the world of animals and people. Before she retired in 2014, there were signs that something was different. But we began to notice a few little stumbles and, and some squinting at the teleprompter. And at first I said to Deb, maybe you need new glasses. And she said, oh yeah, boss, that's it, that's it. But uh, I think... We were all in denial. We, we did all talk about it. It had that family feeling, like we were all worried. No, when, when Deb and I could still have a conversation, we, we decided that with cancer would have been better because, you know, with, with cancer, you, you know, you get to kick, kick at the can and go down swinging. But, you know, with, with Alzheimer's, it's a different world. Deb is a stepmom, a mother, a grandmother. And her family was the luckiest of all because they got to know her best. Catherine on the left, Tobin, her husband. Dan is the next man in, and he's my son-in-law to my other daughter, Leah, who's with me. I'm in the center. That's Joe, my grandson, in front of Dan. And then there's Ella, my granddaughter. And then my daughter, Roxanne, her husband, Cody, and the beautiful and lovely Deborah. Honey, I miss you. 
Oh, we miss you too, Deb. If you would like to donate to the Alzheimer's Society of BC in Deb's honor or in anyone else's honor, you can do so online, alzbc.org slash donate. And for more information or support, you can call the First Link Dementia Helpline, 1-800-936-6033. The biggest